Hello, guys. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful day out. Um, I just took Coldly for a walk, and I saw something on this walk, and it totally just, like, hit me, and it was, like, an aha moment, and I literally can't stop thinking about it. I've been thinking about it for, like, 30 minutes, and so I was like, I have to share this with you guys because of it, then there's a lesson from it, and... I would be selfish not to share it. So, I hope that this is... I think I'm trying to, like, connect to my Wi-Fi on and off a lot. So, if it's frozen or not working, please tell me. Or say hi. So, I know it's working. I'm on my front porch because it's so nice out. I think I keep going in and out. Are you guys... If you're on here, say hi. It's working? Okay, great. If it's, like, going in and out, please tell me. Okay, so, saw something on my walk, and I just literally can't stop thinking about it. So, walking, and I look up, because this guy passed me on a bike, um, like a bicycle, and he was riding his bike by me, like, pretty fast, and I look up at him, and I look down, and then I did a double take and looked at him again, you guys, he had no arms. He had no arms, like, literally right there, down, no arms. And he was riding a bike, a bicycle. Like, crazy. Um, it. I honestly just, like, stared for a second because I could not believe he was riding a bike and he had no arms. And I thought that was just amazing. And then I was just thinking about, like, how, how do you live a life with no arms? It would be so hard, right? Like, think about all the things you do with your arms. Like, riding a bike, um, wiping your butt, cooking, getting dressed, texting, calling, like, using, calling someone, holding your baby. Like, think about all the things you do with your arms and your hands and your fingers. And he doesn't have that. Yet, he was still riding his bike. And... He probably could have used that as an excuse to not ever ride a bike ever again. I don't know if he was born that way or if he had an accident or something, but, you know, like, he probably could have used that as an excuse. He could have said, I don't have any arms. I can't ride a bike. I mean, that would be pretty logical in my head. But he didn't use that as an excuse, and he's still riding a bike. And, you guys, he was going fast. And then I watched him stopped and got off of it, like, didn't fall off of it, like, gracefully stopped and got off of his bike with no arms. Like, so impressed. Um, like, I almost stopped and talked to him because he impressed me so much. Like, I want to know all the stuff he does with no arms. I'm sure he does more. And then I was thinking, like, here we are complaining and making excuses to why we can't do things, yet we have arms. We have hands and we have fingers. And we can do so much with those things. And we're sitting here making excuses to why we can't. And then here's this guy with no freaking arms riding a bike. Like, you guys, like, I don't know. I was just a huge aha moment for me. Like, he knew that if he still wanted to ride a bike, if he still wants to do these things in his life that he enjoys, he was going to have to adapt. And he was going to have to figure it out instead of just sitting there and making excuses and feeling sad for himself to it's a nice day and he can't ride a bike. No, he's out there doing it. So really guys, it like put myself in check seeing this and I was thinking like what do I what do I make excuses on? Like I make excuses to why I can't work my business like I was up all night, I didn't sleep, so I just want to take a nap today, but you know like little things like you make so many excuses to why you can't do things and you are 100% capable of doing them you have arms you have hands and you have fingers so don't take advantage of that you guys got to use it and if you have something that's holding you back you just have to figure out how to adapt and change and make it work into your life this guy's got no arms and he's riding bikes I'm sure he does a bunch of other cool stuff and I'm sure there's a bunch of things he has accomplished in his life with no arms. And he's just adapt. He just does it differently. 
So, you guys, we have such an amazing opportunity in front of us. And just because XYZ is stopping you or you have it, these excuses sitting there telling you why you can't be good at this or why you can't do this, that's not true. It's not true at all. You guys just have to figure out how to adapt and change and make it work. Anyone can do what we do. It's just doing it and not giving up. Think about how many times this guy probably had to like fall off his bike to keep his balance and do it and ride a bike with no arms. I'm sure it took a while. I'm sure he didn't just jump on a bike for the first time and just ride it perfectly like I saw him do and get off perfectly. Like I can barely even get off a bike and I have arms, you guys. And he just like pulled up to this fence and leaned against it and got off no problem. But think about how many times he probably fell learning how to do that. How many times he fell, skinned up his knees, he might have hit his head. He, he probably messed up so many times and maybe he even thought about quitting and never trying it again and thinking I'm dumb for thinking I can ride a bike with no arms. And now he's awesome. Like he rides a bike better than most people with arms. So... That was my my aha moment today while on my walk, and I couldn't stop thinking about it, so I had to share it with you guys because I know that I personally have so many things that I, like, get in my head, and I let be excuses, and they shouldn't be because I am more than capable of doing all these things, and even if you fail or even if you have something that's holding you back, you have obstacles in the way, that's life. And that's how it's going to be. And you're either going to let that stop you from doing the things you want or it's going to motivate you and you're going to just figure out how to do it anyway. So that's my story for you guys today. I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful day. So go use your arms, go use your hands and your fingers and don't take advantage of anything because you never know what will happen tomorrow. Bye guys.